subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. Hello everyone, it's me Asis Johan from Asphere Creation. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, today in this video we are going to create a very unique bouquet blur with a very bike photo of manipulation with cinematic color tone effect. So if you haven't subscribed the channel then do subscribe and press the like button on this video so that it will motivate me to make more videos like this and if you haven't pressed the bell icon then just press it to get the latest update whenever I post new video and just check it out my website that is www.asfieldcreations.com from there you can find new background png color lookup and every kind of photo editing stuff for free so let's jump to the photoshop open the photoshop and open the photo which you want to make the edit now just you use the quick selection tool from here and click on this plus icon to make it selection Just roll on the body of the subject to make it selected. Now right click on it and select layer by copy option to make the duplication of that layer or press Ctrl J directly from the keyboard to make the duplication. Here we have made the duplication. Now all you have to do is just add some background to the photograph. So we will go to the file, click on open and just browse the background where it is. I have already given this background in the link given in the description so let's open the background you can download it from there and uh, let's uh, open the background yes just all you have to do is just drag it and drop over here now go to the edit select free transform or directly press ctrl T from the keyboard You can place anywhere else like here or the where, wherever it is more suitable you can place it. Now just press the control key from the keyboard and left click on the mouse on this uh, background layer to make the selection of that particular area. Now just go to the crop tool and just crop that much area from here. Press enter key so it will automatically crap, uh, crap, uh, crop that much area of the background which we want. Now now the thing is to make the level on the photograph so we'll go to the adjustment layer select the levels from here i click on and click on this clipping mask tool move the slider from left to right so it will create a very you know depthness in the subject's face and the body you can increase some brightness from here if you want you can move this slider a little bit off to the right side so here you can see the before and after effect of the photo really it creates a very unique photo or the tone to the photograph now the very first thing we will do is just blow, uh, merge both the layers right click on it and select merge layer Now all you have to do is just select the blur tool from the toolbox and make sure you have selected the hard round brush. Make the strength to around 60%. Just blur the edge of the subject which we usually do in every kind of photo editing. Because it is very very important that uh, you sh uh, that no one can identify, no one should identify that whether your photo is uh, edited or the real one. So it is very very necessary to blur the edge of the subject whenever you have cut out that uh, image because it is you know it creates a very you know unique and a very depthness on the subject it seems like you have captured directly from the camera so we it is very important to blur the edges only only blur the edges don't blur too much just a little bit of you know blur is more than enough so like this way you have to blur it on the every part of the so make sure you didn't forget to blur or remain any any part of the body of the subject 
Now here we will select the smudge tool to enlarge the selection or you can just uh, make it like this way or you can also increase it if you want to increase just like this way you have to do again select the blur tool from here and just blur it like this way yes this is really really very important whenever you are editing it is a very key point which you have to keep in the mind if you want to make your photo to look very natural and realistic then you have to blur it anyhow so here we have almost completed our blurring process so Go to the file, click on open and select one of the motorbike and just drag and drop it over here. Now move this layer below the subject layer. Go to the edit, select pre transform tool and just enlarge the image. Just place wherever it is you know, suitable, you can place and adjust that bike. Let's keep it over here yes now it seems okay so all you have to do is now again you have to do the same thing to the bike also go to the levels click on the below mass you can adjust it a little bit of a toning would be more perfect here you can see the before and after effect now just merge both the layers from here and do the same thing over on the background also so we will select the layers click on this below icon and just do a little bit of adjustment on the background move the slider a little bit to give it more darker tone increase the light from here and just make it a little bit of darker here you can see the before and after effect now it's time to add some loots to the photograph so we'll go to the filter select camera filter and just to select the loots whatever is more you know looking perfect that you can add to the photograph it seems that it is looking very more perfect i hope this Alan Pandra loots are looking very realistic so you can add these loots if you want this is how you can create your photo or a unique touch you can place this bike wherever you want to place it you can also adjust the size, increase or decrease the size. So this would be more perfect, I guess. If you want to give a little bit of surface blur or the Gaussian blur to the bike, you can add image. First of all, we'll crop the image so that it will be more convenient to blur it go to the filter select blur then just uh, select go, uh, blur gallery and select hill shift and just you know move the slider on the very beneath of the layer on very downside so we'll just uh, select the slider and move on the downward position and make it a blur don't blur too much but this would be more okay and just press ok this blur you know this tilt shift blur is also very unique 
you can add it in your photographs so finally here we have given the blurring on the bike also so if you want to you know adjust you can adjust it so finally here we have almost completed our editing process if you want to add some more bokeh to the photographs then you can add but uh, this would be looking very realistic and a natural look so just to merge all the layers from here right click on it and select merge layer option So finally we have merged all the layers. And press crop tool to make the crop. So here you can see the before and after effect. This photo is giving the photo you know very very funky and a realistic look on the photograph. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video then press the like button and just subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed and just uh, visit uh, follow us on Instagram Asphere Creations and visit our website www.asphereguriations.com from there you can download free backgrounds, PNG, color lookup file and every kind of photo editing stuff for free. Well thank you for the video and bye bye till the next video.